Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 is going to take us around the 16th of September. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SS GFS and ECM ensembles over a couple of weeks. And we'll look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That's going to take us to the beginning of October. Can you believe that? I shall get on with it for you in a second. Just say that first video release day was our 7 a.m. Uh, forecast. And uh, this evening at 8 p.m. going to be premiering part two of the first winter 2021-2022 update. It's the analog side of the update. It's going to be very, very, very interesting uh, watch. That's going to be coming up from 8 p.m. this evening. So I'll be in the live chat with you, watching it with you uh, as uh, as we go through those analogs of the first, uh, you know, uh, for, for the first winter update. Uh, now, 11.9k, so yes, we are now at, or we're over 11,900 subscribers. We've got to put on around about 90 subscribers to get ourselves to uh, 12k. So that means that we are now beginning our uh, to open our, up our competition. So uh, we're going to be giving away some uh, merch. Let me just show you the pillow. There it is. We're going to be giving away two of those, two of the guys love his pillows. We'll be giving away when we hit 12k subscribers. If you'd like to be in with a chance of winning uh, the uh, Gatsworth is a pillow, then uh, all you need to do is either respond to the post that will be uh, appearing in Discord on the Discord server very, very shortly. Uh, if you haven't yet already, um, uh, reply to that uh, with a uh, with a uh, emoji and uh, uh, Matt will add, get you added into the prize draw. Alternatively, you're not on Discord, you can email me directly at gavsworthis at gmail.com and, uh, and ask to have your name entered into the prize draw. You'll be put onto the name picker and then in a live stream when we hit 12k subscribe we will give away two of those uh, pillows. So uh, thank you so much. Just let me know if you'd like to have your name entered. And that's absolutely great. Only UK residents only, uh, please, uh, because, uh, you know, postage is going to be difficult uh, with these items uh, to post them further afield. So just UK residents only. And thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that, uh, for uh, for Gals Web. It's, and, yeah, good luck. Hope you, uh, again, hope you win your pillows and get in bottles. So, so good luck to all of you uh, for that. Right, OK. Let's start video then, shall we? Uh, right, so we're going to begin with what's going on in uh, the Tropical Atlantic. So we've got two interest areas. We've got a yellow X and also we've got Hurricane Larry. So let's deal with the yellow X first of all. That's in the southern part of the uh, Gulf of Mexico. A 0% chance of cyclone formation in the next two days. A 30% chance of low chance in uh, the next five days. And then we've got Hurricane uh, Larry just here. So uh, Larry is currently giving uh, maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour with a minimum central pressure of 956 millibars. Clicking on Larry, we can see that this major hurricane is going to head uh, to Bermuda. So the current position is just there. By Thursday, uh, Larry will be bearing down on Bermuda, but will then not be a major hurricane. It'll be down probably to... Uh, a category two, which is still very impactful, of course. And then sort of curving uh, north, uh, northeast was in that sort of direction and finishing up somewhere close to Newfoundland. Still as a hurricane, uh, surprisingly. Uh, still as a hurricane by the weekend off the coast of uh, Newfoundland. So, uh, so yeah, it looks like Bermuda is going to get... It looks like Bermuda gets like a glancing blow from this. Bermuda, the Bermuda Island is just there. Uh, and so it's just curving to the east of Bermuda. But, of course, it, Bermuda will get some impacts from this. But worse, it could, could be out at sea and not impacting Bermuda directly. Um, but, uh, but yeah, another, another significant development, of course, in the Atlantic with Hurricane Larry. Right, come back home. It's our central new temperature is looking. The CT is currently standing at 16.0 up to uh, yesterday, the 5th of September. That's an anomaly of 1.3 degrees uh, above average. So, again, turning into warm September. That's going to go up more, a lot more, over the next few days. We've got hot weather to come to around uh, Wednesday. So, uh, expect that to go above 17 degrees in, uh, in the next few days. Very warm start. 
to September. These are with GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles the next couple of weeks. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London, starting off very warm or hot at the moment, of course. So around Wednesday through to the weekend, we will see the, uh, the upper air temperatures lowering, starting to come down. So by the time we get through to the weekend, the early part of next week, we are back, um, you know, close to average uh, with the upper air temperatures. I'm heading to second half of September, just generally a bit above average, really, with the uh, upper air temperatures then. Um, we have got some that uh, sort are of, uh, quite cool, these ones down here, but uh, overall still quite uh, quite a mild sort of period, but not as hot as it is in the next few days. It looks like the peak of the temperatures is going to be in the next uh, couple of days, I think, and then a gradual cooling. Uh, process to be just somewhat above average, if you like, by the middle uh, of September. Precipitation wise, most of dry weather over the next two or three days as things cool down around Wednesday, Thursday. So we will find some uh, heavy showers breaking up, might involve some thunder. Relatively dry again after that, really, through the middle part of September, maybe second half of the month turns a bit more unsettled. But of course, that is uh, a really, really long way off. Temperature anomaly is shown being 6th to the 14th of September, generally warmer than average, quite significantly so. Most parts of Europe, precipitation anomaly is from being 6th to the 14th of September, drier than average as, as well. Latest wind flow map from EarthNullSchool.net shows that high pressure is still dominating weather, but the wind direction has changed. We've lost that northeasterly, and uh, we're bringing in the wind from an east southeasterly direction. The rain bearing west southwest is being pushed off to the north and west of the country with those west southwesterly winds at the moment. So at the moment high pressure is still holding off uh, areas of low pressure in the Atlantic and the jet stream. Uh, right, the South UK, so let's look at the generic charts. This South UK Met is looking for Thursday. Shall I put webcam back on? Let's go for these. Why not? Hello, I'm uh, Right, so this is how the UK Met is looking for Thursday. Uh, trough of low pressure moving in from the Atlantic on Thursday. Could bring some heavy showers into Friday. Still in that trough, so particularly for the north, there will be showers ongoing. Into uh, the weekend, it looks like high pressure comes back. High pressure returns through the weekend and into the early part of next week. The difference is in the position of the high pressure pulling in cooler air from the north. So it might go back to those rather cool and cloudy northeasterlies again, I'm afraid, over the weekend and into uh, the other part of next week. And temperatures will, you know, take a bit of a dip uh, as well. Right, this is how, so that's as far as we go to with the UK map. This is how the uh, GFS midnight run was looking uh, when it updated today. So a trough of low pressure again coming in off the Atlantic around Thursday, bringing risk of some showers, maybe some thunderstorms involved in that. Uh, but low pressure then pushes away to the east. We go to weekend, high pressure returns from the west. But high pressure sitting out to west of us means we pull in a cooler uh, northeasterly, northerly to northeasterly uh, wind. So temperatures will drop over weekend and will probably, I'm afraid, start to bring more cloud back in to the east again, back into the, uh, to the you know, uh, late August pattern. That's Monday, the beginning of next week. Again, sees that high pressure out to our west, around it. We pull in winds from a north northeast direction. It's likely to bring some cloud into east areas. The best of the sunshine will be in the west again. Most areas still dry, though, so this prolonged dry spell goes on. Other than the showers around Wednesday, Thursday, maybe Friday. You know, this is a very prolonged dry spell of weather that we are in, and it continues, um, you know, to the middle of September. That's how uh, 14th September is looking. Tuesday uh, next week, high pressure gains over country. Although uh, the high pressure is slipping in across the country, it's not a particularly warm ridge, this, so still temperatures will be quite cool, and probably most notably so at night. Up to day 10, we've still got this ridge maintained over the country. Notice it is trying to uh, push itself uh, northwards up towards Greenland and Iceland, having a go at bringing in uh, a cold northerly, but most of that north wind is actually going into Scandinavia. Nevertheless, even at this point, it's probably not overly warm, near normal temperatures, probably quite cool uh, by night, actually. In more extreme range, we go into a situation where we've got a blocking area of high pressure between Greenland and Scotland and low pressure over France. Winds again continue to be coming in from a relatively cool east or northeast direction. No sign of a return to hot weather, you know, here once we get the next two or three days uh, out of the way. Just generally quiet and anticyclonic. Right at the very end, the high pressure slipping back southwards again, and maybe then starting to pull up something a bit warmer from the south uh, again. But of course, that's over two weeks away, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that particularly seriously at this point. 
Uh, but GFS 6 then is the latest run that's updated, and uh, this is what it's showing. Again, on Thursday, Trough of Low Pressure will be bringing some heavy showers, maybe risk of some thunder mixed in. Into the weekend, the low pressure moves eastwards, have a high pressure out to our west. Winds are in from a uh, relatively cool north northeast direction. So temperatures will drop quite a lot, actually, over the uh, weekend. As the wind gets back into the northeast, it probably, <laughs> I'm afraid, brings those cloudy conditions back into uh, eastern areas. Into next week, we've got high pressure way to the northwest of Scotland. Again, winds in from an east or feces direction. <coughs> Excuse me, it looks relatively cool there as we go into the early part of next week. And that's uh, through to Tuesday and through to Wednesday. Uh, and again, <coughs> excuse me again. <coughs> So sorry, everyone, lose my voice. Uh, that's how we're going to get through to Wednesday, 15th September again. High pressure is dominating where the wind is beginning to shift around a little bit more towards the south and to uh, the southeast. So that's probably starting to lift the temperature up a bit by uh, day 10. We've got lower pressure down to our southwest as well. That might be bringing risk of some wet weather in towards the southwest by day 10. Uh, beyond that, so that low pressure sort of pushes eastwards and we turn wind into the north, so temperatures lower again, just beyond day 10, with a little bit of a northerly, then high pressure back in, um, more or less to the end of the uh, GFS 6. So notice by the very end of it, we are getting some deep low pressure uh, to the north, so that's proper autumnal uh, weather, sitting just to our north around Greenland and Iceland. Uh, you know, strengthening the zonal flow. So this high pressure, it's still hanging on, still clinging on by its fingertips across England and Wales, even up to 22nd of September. But it is being put under a lot of pressure there by these deepening autumnal lows that are developing uh, to the north. So autumn really knocking on the door there by the very end of the GFS uh, 6 m And then we've got the uh, GM looking like this. If you enjoyed the video, and please do smash the like button. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think. And make sure to subscribe to our channel. We are very close now to 12,000 uh, subscribers. Amazing. Right, this is how the GM is looking. So again, low pressure is uh, moving in off the Atlantic on Thursday. We'll bring heavy showers, maybe some further storms mixing. To Friday the weekend, that low pressure moves away to the east. Heights rise to our west. The winds go in to a rather cool north northwesterly uh, direction. So temperatures cool down at the end of the weekend into weekend. Still a lot of dry weather. It'll probably bring the cloud back into the east. Early next week, high pressure Dominating the weather once more. Um, not a particularly warm ridge, though, uh, this time. Uh, we get through today 10. Looks like pressure's weakening a little bit, so maybe it's to turn a bit showery there uh, by day 10, which is 16th of September. And then the ECM uh, looks like that. So, again, we've got a trough load pressure. We with some heavy showers on Thursday into Friday and into weekend that uh, low pressure clears away. We find ourselves going into a car with the ECM over the weekend. So probably still relatively warm actually down in the south. Uh, in the north though it is cooling down quite a bit. They could have some showers into weekend I think with the ECM uh, as well. Into next week I think very very slow moving uh, you know very sluggish weather patterns through next week until right at the very end lower pressure is trying to come in from off the Atlantic but even that one looks like it's struggling uh, quite a bit. This is how the precipitation forecast looks with that uh, ECM run today. So lots of dry weather over the next few days. By around Wednesday, Thursday, some heavy showers, maybe with thunder mixed in, breaking out uh, across the country. So showers uh, rumbling around into the end of the week uh, as well. Into next weekend, uh, still some showers knocking around. Not completely settled next weekend, but fewer of them. Um, until the early part of next week, we'll actually bring some quite wet weather in from off the Atlantic there. Uh, and then through the rest of next week again, a few showers coming and going, quite a bit of dry weather though. Day 10, uh, bringing a band of rain in towards the west. We'll have to wait and see how much progress that makes moving in across the country. Uh, so these are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10, which gets us to the 16th of September. 16 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure to our northeast and winds are coming in from the east. That's going to be mainly dry and probably quite warm uh, with that. 11, including the operational run, have high pressure towards the northeast, lower pressure trying to come in from off the Atlantic. Uh, nine, with high pressure over Scandinavia, winds again in from the uh, east. We've got six, with low pressure towards the northwest of the country, around Iceland, and uh, high pressure to our east. That's probably going to be mainly dry, actually, and quite warm. Five, with high pressure to the north of Scotland, that's going to be mostly dry. And uh, four, with high pressure, again, more or less over the country. So it looks like the ECL Sums are shifting back today, after a shift yesterday towards something rather more unsettled around day 10. It looks like the ECL Sums today 
day have shifted back to higher higher pressure. <laughs> Again, backwards and forwards we go uh, with these models at the moment, don't we? As, as uh, you know, uh, they play around with high pressure and low pressure. In two weeks, time is the options that we've got. It gets to the 21st of September. 11 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure, more or less over the country, low pressure. Away to our should be mostly dry still with that and quite warm. 10 again with high pressure over Scandinavia, low pressure to our west southwest. Up come those southerly southeasterly. It's probably turning more unsettled, but quite warm with that. Uh, 8 with a Scandinavian high, low pressure to our south. That's probably turning wet, especially so for southern areas. Still quite warm though. Uh, another 8 just here have high pressure to our southwest. So that can be mainly dry, a little bit cooler. With that one bringing wind more from the northwest, seven with low pressure to our east and high pressure to our southwest. Um, that's a bit inconclusive, but probably quite a bit cooler, I would thought that. And then seven uh, with high pressure out of Scandinavia, low pressure to the south southeast winds in from more of an easy direction. That's going to be a little bit cool, I think, and probably unsettled for more southern areas. So it's all very inconclusive, I have to say. It looks like up to day 10 anyway. We still have a lot of anti cyclonic weather going on. CMSV2, uh, looking like this, is a 500 millibar heights broken down into week periods. The first week period is going to take us from the 6th through to the 12th of September. We have high pressure this week over and to the east of the country. Loads of dry and fine weather will be really quite warm as well. Uh, week 2 will be the 13th to the 19th of September. Again, with high pressure in right over top of the country. It's going to be mainly dry. Probably a little bit cooler with that because we have changed wind direction a bit. We're bringing in more of a north northeasterly. So it will, the temperature will lower, but it, but still very dry and, and anti-cyclonic. Uh, week 3 is the 20th, 26th of September still with that high pressure. Close to the country, probably becoming warmer again as winds go in to a southerly direction. And then week 4, look at this, it's the 27th of September, the 3rd of October. That high pressure is right over top of the country uh, by that point. So very settled anti-cyclonic start. To October, you have to say it's looking pretty good for the gas weather sort of forecast, which did go for quite anti cyclonic weather uh, through September and into October as well. So uh, we shall see how it all plays out. Right, if you enjoyed the video, then please can smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. It's amazing. It's incredible. Thank you uh, for doing this uh, for Gals Weather Viz. And uh, if you do subscribe, you're going to be able to see uh, future weather content. Of course you are. So uh, that's absolutely great. Thank you for doing that uh, for uh, the Gals uh, Weather Viz. Uh, we've got to put on 90 subscribers. That's all to get ourselves to 12K. And uh, as I say, you can now start entering your name. Uh, to uh, win or have a chance anyway, of winning uh, the, uh, the merch, the two pillows uh, from Gav's Weather Viz. I'm going to see you later on uh, for our premiere of uh, part two of the first winter 2021-2022 update. That's going to be from 8pm tonight. I'll be in my live chat with you, so I shall see you all then, hopefully. Uh, but for this one, enjoy the rest of your uh, Monday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.